So I don't look at myself as an Iranian artist rather than as an artist. I just happen to, to be born in Iran, you know, so I'm an artist and I make art. Making music all my life until I was 20 some years old, you know, my young, my early 20s. And at some point, I switched from, you know, music to visual arts, and I started making, you know, sculptures and painting. I make art because I have to make art. If somebody sees it, the better for me. If somebody doesn't see it, I really don't have control over who sees and who does not see my work. But I just have to make paintings. I don't know any other thing. You know, this is what I do. And that's, that's the role of the artist. I, I think that's the role of the artist, to say these things any which way we can. You find it through music, he finds it through his camera, I have to pick up a paintbrush, somebody runs, I don't know, maybe people do different things, you know, but we all at the very end, we all say the same thing. That's what I know at least. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> the, the important part is that the process of the painting that it goes through, because that's where the beautiful stuff, that's when all the pretty things happen, that's, that's when the beauty of art is, you know, it's not about the finished project that you do. You know, it was very sad, and uh, so I just put one story that is basically shut down, you know, and, and that was my American flag. I got laid off, I made a painting. What I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to make sense out of a chaos that's outside. And that's basically how I see our life, you know, it's a chaos, you know, it's just we bombarded with so many different things day in, day out, you know, from advertising, advertising to, to, to news to, to all kind of things that are happening to us, you know, so it's a huge, huge chaos and that's, uh, that's how I see things around me. But at the same time, I like to say that there is order in everything, you know, things will be good, you know, it's not, yes, there are bad things happening outside, but there's better things happening here, so there's always a, there's always something good is going to come out, you know. It starts with the color, but when you come closer to the painting, then you start seeing other elements that are inside the painting. I'm just drawn to things, you know, and this Farsi writing I think is very beautiful. Just the way it moves, all these curves and all these things, and it's, it's very beautiful. When I drive in the street, I look at graffiti art all the time. You know, I know most of these graffiti artists anyways, you know, but I know their works. I, I'm drawn to these things, you know, I see texts, I see things all the time. Even though it could be just red or it could be a you know, yellow painting out, outside or, or on the outside of it, but when you get close to it, then you start experiencing the work. And that's something that is important to me because I want my work to move whoever is looking at, at my work. I want, I want my work to move people, basically. I saw friends dying, you know, going to war, coming back all messed up and all those kind of things, you know. So, um, basically, this is me being introduced to war at the age of 15. It's the artist who lives an extraordinary life by making other people's life beautiful. That's the beautiful thing. My name is Farzad Kohan. I was born in Tehran, Iran. Uh, I'm a painter and uh, I'm a self-taught artist. <laughs>